So welcome to our Parasite Spoilers review. You made a very good point when we started filming this that the major twist of this book is written right on the back. <laughs> it's like... It's right there. Okay. I'll read the... Yeah. A decade in the future, humanity thrives and thrives in the absence of disease. We owe our good health, the humble parasite, the intest intestinal bodyguard, yada 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 yada. Now among almost everyone has a parasite living within them. But these creatures are getting restless. They want their own lives and will do anything to get them. So can you predict where this book is going? Basically the premise of this book is that they have created this parasite that can live in your stomach, it dies after like two years or something, and then it can like mess with your physiology and just make you a generally healthier person and... It also helps with hangovers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you want, just that's to the degree of ridiculousness that this like thing, thing does. So basically, uh, Sal wakes up after a major car crash, she's got, she's like a blank slate. She's got no memory, no motor skills, no knowledge of the English language. And so she spends years being rehabilitated when finally we meet her and she's trying to like get her own life. Her parents are kind of like, no, we still need to protect you and keep you under our wing. And she's like, no, I want to move in with my boyfriend. I want to live my life. I don't want to be defined by this accident. Um, her parents are kind of like adjusting to having a new daughter. Yeah, they do point out, they make it very clear that Sal is much nicer than her previous person like Sally. She used to be called Sally, but because she's trying to put as much difference difference distance between her and her other counterpart yeah. before her. She shortens her name to Sal. And you don't like it. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> um, it makes me think of like a a big heavy set male who works on your car. <laughs> I know that's very stereotypical, but that's all I could think. And anyway, so Sal is basically trying to, um, sorry, she's trying to um, get on with her life. Um, her relationship is better with her father, especially because her father didn't get along with the, with Sally. Um, but anyway, so she goes into a checkup at Symbogen, everything going normal until she encounters this one woman who starts changing and going violent, and it becomes clear that this is a real problem because of... A little bit later, she also encounters more people who just kind of like shut down, start going violent, and are clearly there's something wrong with them. But anyways, so Sal decides that she wants to try and find out what's going on because clearly somebody's not telling everybody something. Mm -hmm. um, she ends up getting answers through her boyfriend's mother, Dr. Who, Shanty, who has relocated her lab to an abandoned bowling alley. Uh, Dr. Shanti also has a couple of new children, Tansy, Adam, and Sh and another guy named Sheldon, who we... Sherman. Sherman. Think who, of the turtle, man. <laughs> who we originally meet in... The, the lab, Simogen lab, because he is like... Undercover. Yeah. Doing his own thing. But we don't find out about that until later. But anyway, so she has these children who are parasites that she has successfully turned into human beings. Because the thing is, when people are changing, what has happened is your little parasite guy is sick of being a slave, so he decides to, you know, swim up and live in your brain like it was cheese. Like, he just like, nom, 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 nom. And he goes, well, I got control now. And so the person will, like, ass. shut down, and the parasite's like, oh, look at me, I have control. Okay. How do I do things? <laughs> <laughs> and they kind of like, once one parasite figures out how to do it, he tries to go and help the next guy over there. Like they send it, pheromone signals. Now, people are waking, like, people are shutting down, coming back with no memories of who they were, no motor skills, and no grasp of the English language. Does this sound familiar to you? The very first line in chapter one, dark, always the dark, warm, hot, dark, the hot, warm, dark, and the distant sound of drumming. If you haven't figured it out by that point, it's, it's just... you are one lucky person. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, Sal goes on a quest for answers. She gets answers from Dr. Shanti. Her father, who is like in like the U.S. government, is also trying to figure out what's going on with these people. And he's a dick. 
And he does like the, he pulls like the worst move. He like completely ignores her. He traumatizes her in like an attempt to get information from her. Um, her sister helps out and is like, yeah, good job, Dad. We're getting information from her. And it's just like awful parenting. The mother, the mother's relationship with Sal is already, it's strained. And it's obviously strained and it makes sense that it's strained. She's never really accepted what's happened. But the relationship with the father, it's just, as you said, it's, it's a better relationship. So this comes out of left field. It makes no sense. And he's like, oh, if I find out you're withholding information from me, I will, like, turn you over to the government because of treason. And you're just like, dude, calm the f down. And the sister who was like, oh, yeah, let's go shopping. You know, I really want to spend some time with you. I love that we get along better is helping the father out. So we're just, you're kind of sitting there like, who are these awful people like who are a, very good actors? Like, it's like a switch flips. And so we find out the whole parasite thing and we start finding out ways to tell if someone is about to change or is in the process of changing, which is like, animals don't like you because you're basically this funny smelling soup. And um, if you take a UV light and like shine it on like the arm. While the change is happening. You can see the, the guy moving up. And every time you're like, in there, but, but, but Sal's, Sal's, and Sal's a parasite. And I'm like, oh, we shined a light, Sal's clean. Sal's still a parasite. parasite. Oh, dogs and animals don't like people who are who are changing. Dogs like Sal. So she's still, still a parasite. parasite. <laughs> <laughs> and so anyways, it basically ends with her breaking into the Symbogen lab. She steals some information and then she finds out, shocker, she she's is a actually parasite. a parasite. This, you know, this would have made a very good short story. It really would have. Because you could have just played it off like all the weird stuff happening. Not how many pages of just like exposition? Yeah, like she could have honestly like cut it down to like maybe like a few chapters and then wrote the second one and turned it into like two books instead of three, which yeah. is what she currently is planning. So, ugh, I mean, characters, Sal was really kind of boring and bland and you like the fact that her, her boyfriend was actually very steadfast and responsible. What I like about that is in books, in a lot of books, when you your couple is already relate, like they're already a couple, they go through their plot, and it's like, okay, you know what? I don't agree with you on this. We should probably like start seeing other people. Or, oh no, I'm endangering you by being around you. They work as a team, and their relationship is never questioned, and that is very very refreshing. I agree with you that Nathan's character is kind of bland. But had Sal been more interesting, you would have he would have been perfectly fine. He would have been yeah. like a great secondary character to, for her to have along. So it was kind of like poor execution that way. And then there was the repeat characters. Oh yeah, yeah. Like honestly, I opened the book and I found Hansi's character, and I was like, "This is Foxy." Like, what, like I swear to God, line for line, it's what she would have said five seconds before and the she, characters she arrived. She really, really, really likes the random female <laughs> scientist who has this like isolated lab who saw what was happening in like and like everywhere else and got out and it's just kind of like it's I'm worried that it could end up like Cassandra Clare where you have like this this path like the Mortal Instrument books you have this path that's very similar in uh in the two infernal series. devices it's yeah. just like the main character of course as we said Sal is nothing like Sean and George which is impressive that she didn't fall in that hole, but Sal just Doesn't. hasn't developed yet, and I'm interested to see how the trauma of her finding out that she is a tapeworm, because she's a tapeworm, affects is, her. Yeah, um, so I mean, and I, also with a character who has no memories of the past six years, you don't get a lot of, like, maybe emotion when you see your favorite show that you've loved forever kind of thing coming up on screen. Or, um, like, she's kind of like an incomplete character because she was written as an incomplete character. Which I guess is a good excuse, but it just doesn't read as well as you would hope it to. And even the actual writing doesn't flow the same as in Feed, and that, I was wondering, is that because we're mimicking Sal's mental state? Or is it just not executed well? Yeah. Um, so there's a lot this book probably could have cut out just and made better. Uh, the pacing, yeah, was off. Um, I liked the way they 
she described the inside of Symbogen. It wasn't just the CDC over again. I mean, the funny part about reading this book was she does occasionally mention the CDC and just instant trigger for it's me like, of no, feed. No, 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 we do not trust them. This is their fault. <laughs> if they're doing something, they're going to get us. <laughs> it's, just, it's just, oh my God. I was God. reading another book and like, it's like, so-and-so works for the CDC. I'm like, we can't trust yes. so-and-so anymore. <laughs> and even when I hear it on TV, I'm just like, them. <laughs> they are the cause of everything. It's just, it's just I've been like Pavlovian dog trained to just go to the CDC. So yeah, um, we would suggest picking up this book, reading it. Because what's, probably what's to come is going to be probably amazing. Hopefully. I have faith in Mira Grant. Yeah, I mean, like, she, she's done good before, so why can't she do it again? And so hopefully this book will give her the chance to go wherever she needs to go to make an ex this story actually excellent. And before we uh, end this, take a look at this pretty cover. Just, like, look at that. It's I love it. It's wonderful. Like, it's so clever. I love this cover. <laughs> okay, so that is our spoiler, spoiler review of Parasite, and we hope to see you guys next week.